Great morning, holy brothers and sisters, for the third of Tishrei in the Kitzur Lukutim Aran. Today's lesson will be called Sinful Sources. When a person merits to attain all of what we learned previously, a great spiritual unification is thereby achieved in all the worlds. The light of the moon becomes like the light of the sun. Isaiah 30, 26. And he attains grace. Then all his prayers and requests are accepted. The evil inclination wants to make a person literally insane, God forbid, for one who sins is insane. As our sages of blessed memory said, a person does not commit a transgression unless he is possessed by a spirit of foolishness. Sota 3a. But how can the evil inclination possibly come to a person and suddenly make him crazy, God forbid? The way of the evil inclination is to first dress itself up in mitzvahs, good deeds, to mislead the person as if inciting him to do a mitzvah. Afterwards, it misleads him and incites him even more until the person comes to commit actual transgressions willfully, God forbid. This is precisely what happens with the insanity of a madman. Little by little, his mind becomes confused and deranged until finally he calls bad good and good bad. Nevertheless, he still retains some traces of intellect and sanity, for even in his craziness and senselessness, he too understands and knows that a person ought not to do such crazy things even though he does them anyway. Because of this, two methods are required to cure the insane. First, it must be necessary to strike them in order to subdue their willful evil, so that at least it will be not pleasant for them to engage in crazy behavior, and at least they will not do things that they themselves know to be madness and foolishness. Furthermore, it may also be necessary to place upon them mystical holy names and amulets in order to banish from them the evil spirit which is confusing and deranging their minds, God forbid, to the point that they distort what is correct and call bad good and good bad. Similarly, when it comes to curing a person from the insanity of the evil inclination, one must also employ the same two methods. First, it is necessary to subdue the sinner's tendency for willful evil, so that at least he will not do what he himself understands and knows to be evil and sinful. God forbid. Furthermore, it is necessary to banish from him the evil spirit, the spirit of foolishness that dresses itself up in mitzvahs and misleads him as if it is inciting him to do a mitzvah. All this can be attained in its entirety only by engaging in Torah study which includes both these methods. Ready to rock the one-two power punch. Start by striking to subdue sinful sources, followed by finishing and flushing foolish forces. The main way to connect oneself with the holy intellect is through straightforwardness and simplicity, as in Jacob was a simple man, Genesis 25-27, for Jacob merited to attain the light of the holy intellect to perfection. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow, and please God, we'll learn again tomorrow.